Lucifer, my co-host. My name is Elijah Marquez, and I guess this is my pilot episode. I tried to do top 10, but then I put this little crocheted vest on, and I knew that I have been putting it on so much during 2020 that I had to include it in my top items. So I think we're at 11 now. I'll start with showing you what I'm wearing today, and then we'll jump into my top items and where I got them from, and for how much, because that's my favorite thing to share with people. The cheaper, the better. I finally got colored tights, so I got them in blue and red and brown, which I've been wearing pretty regularly. Um, this skirt is handmade in the 70s for my boyfriend's grandma. I actually got these at the same thrift store that I got this vest from, which is three minutes from my house. I got this super dark blue velvet turtleneck shirt probably a couple years ago, I'm sure. I feel like all of my own thrift items were under $3 or were $3. I don't know if that's a common price, but I always see it. Uh, so I honestly think this velvet shirt was $3. And then my first top find, and these are in no particular order once they start sharing them. I love all of them. It's this red crocheted vest that I got at the thrift store near my house. It comes with this matching belt, which I've been using for all different things. A belt, a necklace, um, a headband. You can get creative with it. But I actually found this on the dollar shelf of the thrift store and I was so excited. I think everything was 50% off or 25% off also. So I got this for less than a dollar and I've been throwing it on over everything just to like add layers, add some textures. I love a good texture. I saw this sticking out from the rack and I had to check out what it was. I have been using this as a shirt on warmer days, just like tucked into pants. But then I also have been using it as a vest. I know like vests are super in right now. Um, I don't want to buy any unless I like 100% know I'll wear them for years to come. So I love this piece because I could use it as a vest, put a long sleeve under it, put a velvet t-shirt or whatnot under it, and it really adds some warmth and some layers, which I love layers. But I could also use it in the warmer months just as a tank top, so it's very versatile. And I actually wore this for my holiday photo with my cat Lucifer and my boyfriend. And it photographed beautifully. It's funny because my whole outfit that I wore in my holiday photo is actually in this pile of stuff. I'll have to show you guys the photo later. But the next thing that was also in my holiday photo is this vintage handmade skirt that I got secondhand. My boyfriend's grandma made this one in the 70s as well. The happiest day of 2020 by far is when she pulled this bin out and I just could not believe the treasures that she had in her closet. I resisted so hard. I didn't want just to show you my top 10 items and they all were hers. So I only picked two of her items that she gave me to include, but I honestly could have like shown you guys 10 and they would have all been in my top this year. So this skirt is very similar to the one I'm wearing, actually. Uh, exact same length, probably the same pattern. And of course it looks cute with this vest. I have been wanting to wear happy colors, just patterns and layers and textures. So this kind of checks all of the boxes. Like I said, I've been wearing a lot of bright colors, but I needed like a staple color kind of to bring it all down and before my staple color was black I would wear a lot of black and then layer on colors and jewelry and textures over it but since I've been working from home I needed more like brightness and more color so my neutral in 2020 I've noticed has transitioned from black to brown. This is just so cute for layering with like a brown 70s skirt. I've been on a pretty big 70s kick this year and with this I could throw it on with blue jeans just kind of tucked in or untucked but I could also tuck it in with a brown skirt, brown belt, brown boots and really get that like perfect fall vibe. It's been so cold in my apartment but I don't want to just sit around all day with um, faux furs on or like blankets on which I still do like five of the maybe five work days of the week but my um, kind of default this whole entire year has been throwing a long sleeve on because I could put comfy pants on the bottom, jeans, I could throw it on with a skirt because I have been trying to wear skirts and still dress up from home. This one I found 
again I think for three dollars. I saw it and I just absolutely fell in love with this neckline. I've been layering this also, I just love layering things. I put this under a red vintage BB velvet dress that I also thrifted and the sleeves like billowing out, the neck billowing out from the v-neck dress was beautiful so it's really good for layering. My next piece I almost passed out when I saw in the thrift store. Here's Lucifer making another appearance. Um, I went Black Friday shopping for the first time ever this year and I looked top to bottom. Well, I only went to thrift stores to clarify. I went to the two thrift stores near my house because they were both doing 50% off sales. So I was looking for Christmas presents. I love to give secondhand thrifted handmade Christmas presents. So I always go to thrift stores like the couple months before Christmas and just see what I could find for people. I was just about to call it a day when I decided to take a walk through the like perimeter bedding section, which I don't need bedding, so I wasn't, you know, really going to look much. But at the end of the rack, hanging in like a, you know, rejected spot with a couple random things, I found the most beautiful vintage coat. And this is a my neutral, my new neutral brown. So can you believe this coat? And guess how much it was? Six. $6.50. You can button down it, but it looks so good open also. And it's lined. It's perfect length on me to wear over dresses and it's so warm, so fabulous, like a little bit of shoulder pad. It just gives me the perfect vintage vibe. Remember I said that I got that big chest of vintage clothes from my boyfriend's grandma and I desperately tried to narrow it down to two things because I didn't want my top to just be things from there. Well, the second and final thing made my heart stop. Like, I am obsessed with it. The fabric, the cut, like how unique it is, the colors. I guess I should just show it to you. I mean, come on. This is the most beautiful fabric I have ever seen. And Lucifer's coming in for the, the dangly straps, so I'm gonna hold those up. It has a slit all the way up the side down to the floor because it comes with hot pants. Let me just stand up and show you. And these would look really cute with these blue leggings, but these are like the tiniest little hot pants and the um, cut of the dress goes all the way up to here. So when you're walking, you could see like a little peekaboo of the hot pant. Oh my God. I wore this to get my hair cut and damn, I looked fly after. Like this dress just gives you a boost. I would wear it every day, but I don't wanna mess it up. So it's a special occasion, but like, honestly, I might even wear it to the grocery store soon because that is special occasion in 2021. Well, hopefully only the first half of the year. This next piece was from a yard sale in the town that my parents live in. And it was actually a sale from a person who owned a vintage store. So when I saw her post this yard sale, I knew I had to go right when she set up. And this is why. This is a vintage like prairie style dress. It's got a jersey top, little like lettuce scalloping, I don't know if that's the right description, a little like butterfly sleeve. I might just be making up words right now, I'm not really sure, but the sleeve flares out, looks like butterfly wings. And then like a zipper down the back, and let me just like hold this up for you. Look at the bottom. It's such like a twirly dress bottom. I put this on and it fit perfect, like so perfect. And guess how much this was? This was $5. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a bottle cap purse, like literally made out of um, bottle tops from Soda Pop. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It has a zipper so you can close it entirely. It's fully lined and it has this like gradient color going up. 
that starts with dark brown string, moving into like a caramel brown, and then ending with like a beige brown. This was actually, I think $5 or $8 from a thrift store. But come on, I had to buy this. Like, I normally don't wear silver. I just love gold so much that like any silver thought is totally canceled out. But the brown in this makes it a lot warmer and a lot more like complimentary to brown and like gold tones. So I had to buy it. This is a 1970s paisley button up with all of the colors that I have just been like dreaming of. And this is actually the top that I wore for my holiday card under that like gold vest that I showed you at the very beginning with that orange and yellow plaid skirt. This is like the last part to my full holiday card look. I've worn it so much. I've worn it like tied up in the front with blue jeans. Um, I've worn it tucked into skirts. I've layered it under dresses, like very versatile, which I think all button ups are. Wow, I love this. I actually bought this from a Instagram vintage shop that is so cute. Happy Hippie Vintage. I'll tag it below. This was like, I think $32 maybe, including shipping, which is such a good price for like a vintage top, but especially like this print. I just love it. And her shop is amazing. Um, I've only bought this, but she has some really incredible pieces. These brown Mary Jane shoes are perfect. I do usually wear them with socks because they rub a little bit without socks, but I'll do like the white sock with the little bit of lace trim and it looks amazing. These I got at a thrift store for $10. But I didn't know if they would look like a little too old on me. I wasn't really sure, but always try things on. Oh, you know, if you see something on the thrift store shelf, and you think like, oh, that might look good, like try it on. As the stores that are a little bit further away, I tend to say like, I don't need to go thrift shopping. The one down the street from me, I'm like, oh, I have a bag of stuff I need to donate. I'll go drop it off and just like quickly look inside. And I found on one of my like quick trips, this absolutely amazing 19, I would say 1960s, 1970s, the tag has been cut out, but you can see like the leftover parts of it and it's definitely an old tag. Like you can just tell it's an old dress. The construction's beautiful, like very good quality. It has a tiny bit of a v-neck, so it really like emphasizes that bow if you want to tie it up above the v-neck or you could do like a low knot. I put this on with the little belt that came with it and just like cinched it in at the waist like I love and it was beautiful. It looks so perfect with these black velvet heels that I can't wait to be invited to something fancy at some point because I will be wearing this. That's all for my top, uh, I lost count, but I think it was a top 11 if I'm counting this best. So I hope you enjoyed my secondhand finds and I hope this is some inspiration to get out, check out thrift stores, check out garage sales, maybe do a clothing swap with somebody else. You can mix and match so many vintage pieces like you don't need to go to the mall you don't need to buy stuff new to have a great wardrobe and if you buy things secondhand like you're supporting such great causes i hope you enjoyed this thrifty tv pilot and i also hope to come back with some other you know tips tricks showing you some other stuff maybe some vintage jewelry some accessorizing i'm bored at home so i thought Somebody else is probably bored at home, why not? If you want to share one of your or all of your top 10 items that you've thrifted or gotten secondhand this year, then leave them in a comment below, tag your Instagram, I'd love to check it out. And stay fabulous. Bye.